morning students as i told you earlier that i will be sending you small videos related to science so as i promised i have come up with a lesson food and digestion which is first lesson in your science textbook in particularly we are going to learn nutrients in our food we all know that living things need food food helps us to grow and to stay alive it gives us energy to work and it keeps us fit and healthy what do we have in our meals we eat roti we eat cooked rice right some of us might have bread they might have meat fish eggs what does these food items contain they contain some substances called as nutrients and what does these nutrients do they help us to grow they help us to stay alive in short they provide us nourishment right so there are various nutrients that are present in food in particularly there are proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins and minerals these are the various substances that are present in our food in this video we will be dealing only with three nutrients right now proteins carbohydrates and fats okay and maybe next in next video i will be giving you information i will be teaching you about vitamins and minerals so this time only proteins carbohydrates and fats so while studying about nutrients basically what we are going to do is we are going to find what do nutrients do for us so to start with we will be first studying carbohydrates carbohydrates are basically energy giving food they give us energy and why do we need energy we require energy for everything even while sitting and studying while reading something while thinking about something or even while playing for everything we require energy even when we are doing nothing we require energy because within our body there are some parts that are still working even while sleeping so they require energy and energy giving part is done by carbohydrates now examples of carbohydrates are sugar and starch sugar we all know we have it in our homes everything that is sweet contains some kind of sugar and starch is basically present in rice wheat potato they contain starch the rotis that our mother make it is made out of wheat right so it contains starch or the idlis that our mother make it is made out of rice it also contains starch so both contain carbohydrates and note that carbohydrates are energy giving food so we should have this kind of food in our daily meals now my question is carbohydrates is it the only energy giving nutrient the answer is no even fats gives us energy in fact fat gives us more energy compared to starch or sugar and where do we find fat we find fat in oil nuts and butter they contain fat and what does it do it helps us to keep our body warm extra fat is stored in body for future use when we don't have enough food in difficult times our body uses fat to give energy to the body however we must note that we must not have too much of fat otherwise we are going to become fat right okay food that are rich in carbohydrates and fats are called as energy giving foods because both carbohydrate as well as fats they gives us energy carbohydrates is required for daily use we have to have carbohydrates in our daily diet every time we have some food we should have carbohydrates 
However, fats are not needed daily. Too much of fat can cause fattiness. A person can become fat because of having too much of fats. Okay. So the next nutrient that we are going to study today is proteins. What does protein do? Basically, protein help us to grow. That's why children need more protein because in their age they are bound to grow, and in this growth they require proteins. Egg, milk, meat. fish cheese peas and pulses contain proteins so we should note that all this material one or two it should be there in our daily meals either egg or milk some or other it should be there because it contains proteins and we require proteins to grow foods that are rich in proteins are called as body building foods Here we can see that Tom and Jerry both are having milk. In fact, every animal require proteins while growing. Okay, to have a good health, to grow properly, we should have proteins. And proteins can be found in milk, as I said earlier. In fact, milk is a wholesome diet. It contains many nutrients in it. So we should have milk at least once in a day. most of the times indian dishes have all kind of nutrients because we have some kind of sabji right some kind of vegetable some kind of roti rice we also have lemon we also have some sweet so we get all kind of nutrients from indian dishes now the homework that you have to do Uh, related to this lesson is you have to make a chart of nutrients basically carbohydrate fats and proteins that we have learned today and you have to also draw picture of food items that contain these nutrients so what you have to do you have to make a chart which will contain three kind of nutrients carbohydrate fats and proteins and you have to draw pictures of the food items that contains these nutrients okay so that's it guys thanks for watching this video next time we meet we will be learning about vitamins minerals okay and few more topics so until then take care and have fun